you talk a bit about politicizing energy. Recently, obviously, there has been a major investigation into whether or not Qatar is paying off EU officials. And I've read that in a statement, um, Qatar has said that um, any attempt to continue those investigations would endanger the agreements that you've signed with various European nations when it comes to energy deals. To your mind, isn't that politicizing energy? Isn't that using energy as a weapon? Well, I think there is a miscoating in what you have uh, mentioned here because, first of all, we reject the premise of, of the, those allegations, which has been just in the media. We didn't have anything until now from the Belgian authorities. And what we are hearing and what we are reading is there is an ongoing investigation that everybody should respect and we uh, uh, should look at the outcomes of these investigations and we expect all our officials uh, uh, to abide with the, with the laws and uh, of each jurisdiction that they are operating in. This problem is a problem that's happening in Europe for a European institution. It's, it's better to, for them to look at their own institution and to do the steps that's required for them and not to drag our country name in, 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 such, a, in such a situation. So Qatar hasn't paid off anybody? Uh, just as, as a state of Qatar, we are 100% sure that this premise has, not, has no basis. We didn't see anything. There is an investigation ongoing. We have to see, we have to wait until the investigation is over and we, uh, uh, we are going to look at it. And we expect from the Belgian authorities to share with us the information at the right time uh, when they see it. Right now, regarding the statement that you have mentioned or the quote that you have mentioned, uh, this comment was done by a diplomat based on a resolution that the EU Parliament who jumped to conclusion while there is an ongoing investigation prohibiting uh, Qatari officials from engaging in conversation with the European Parliament and we've been uh, 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 disappointed with, with uh, disagreeing and disappointed with, uh, with such a resolution that actually didn't wait for the investigation uh, to end and to uh, put out the results for, for everyone and just pointing on Qatar as, as a country and not to, uh, to stop any discussion with them and any engagement while the engagement with the European Union and with the European Union institutions have been ongoing on geopolitical issues, on energy issues, on a lot of other issues. And these kind of uh, uh, resolutions and stopping these kind of conversation, of course, is going to affect the conversation. We are not threatening any country by stopping the energy. As we mentioned, the energy deals that we have between us and the European countries it has been a commercial deals that handled by a company, a commercial company in Qatar, which is Qatar Energy. Mm. And they are dealing with other commercial company. And we have a track record that we have never missed any shipment. We have never politicized our energy and using it, using it or weaponize our energy as, as, as a tool for threatening any other country.